Hi, I'm Sean. Welcome back to our video blog. Today we're going to be discussing some renovations that you're probably not going to get your money back on when you sell your house. Today we're talking about some renovations that if you do them, they're purely for your enjoyment for the most part. And you shouldn't expect to get a certainly a profit from them when it does come time to sell your house. The first one on the list in our area is a swimming pool. Now if you're on the west coast and it's hot and sunny all the time, it makes total sense. Here in our market, um, the few people do love the idea of having a swimming pool when they're purchasing a home, but most people dread it. Question that I get a lot is like, how much does it cost to, to fill in that hole in the backyard instead of maintain it? Um, that being said, our family chose to put one in and we absolutely love it every day, but we fully know that it's probably not going to help us to resell our house when that day comes. They can also be a safety hazard for children. They can be a safety hazard for pets as well. And there is a fair amount of upkeep with chemicals and making sure it's clean all the time. So unless you, your family truly wants one and they're beautiful, we love ours, that would be one you're not certainly gonna get your money back on in most cases. The second one would be over renovating for the neighborhood that your house is in. Um, making your, putting in all, all high end things and making it beautiful and it stands out like a sore thumb or a real pretty thumb in this case might be a mistake. Uh, when you go to sell it and even if someone does buy it, it may have, you may have trouble getting it to appraise out to comparable homes in your neighborhood. Um, a, new, a new buyer might not want to seem pretentious compared to all of his neighbors. And you know, the, one of the old real estate laws is that you never want the most expensive or the least expensive home in a neighborhood. A third thing, and this is especially if you're thinking about selling sometime soon, is to put tens of thousands of dollars into some extensive landscaping to really, really dress it up from the street. Uh, in, in reality, Trimming your bushes back, a freshly mowed yard to make it look nice is, is really all that you need to do. And, you know, potentially planting some flowers in the flower beds or even easier yet, just buying some, some potted plants and, and setting them around so you have some fresh colors and stuff. That's really all you need to do. If you're gonna, especially if you're gonna run into the winter season and it's all covered in snow anyway, um, chances are the buyers will want to make the yard their own as well. So they'll be doing some of their own landscaping to make it look nice. A fourth thing would be high-end upgrades. This kind of goes along with over renovating, but on, in, in the scale of, you know, if a room needs to be repainted, just repaint it. You don't need like handmade wallpapers. Um, you don't need the most expensive carpet to go in. You don't need the most expensive appliance if one needs to be replaced. So again, if you're gonna be living there a while, go nuts. Get, get that $1,000, $2,000 chandelier that you always wanted. If you're planning on selling anytime soon, maybe it's time to visit Menards or Home Depot and, and put in something that looks nice but isn't super expensive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end on one other thing which is finishing your basement. If you're gonna be selling anytime soon, maybe now's not the time to, to do a complete basement finish, um, especially if you're going to be using a contractor. Wage prices are super high at the moment and material costs have increased quite a bit. The exception to that would be if you have a room in the basement that could easily be a bedroom were it, if it were legal, adding an egress window isn't that expensive and can can add an, add an extra bedroom, go from a three bedroom to a four bedroom house, can add a lot of value. So that's something that you may consider doing. In fact, this past year we did have a couple clients who over the past couple years were planning on selling and they did add um, an egress window to add a legal bedroom in the basement. That might be your exception there. So those are a few items and, and renovations that you should you know think twice about before you undertake. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about what renovations are smart renovations when it comes time to selling, we're here to help you, of course. Thanks for watching our video, and we'll see you next time.